Trio one night and Simply Red before that with Fairgrounds run right across southwest Wales. Good morning to you, buddy Dar. This is Swansea Sound. I'm Leighton Jones. Uh, time to welcome our next guest onto the show. Grant Cockrell is the Education Coordinator for Groundwork Bridgend and Neath Put Albert and joins us. Good morning to you, Grant. Good morning, Boridar. Boridar, thanks very much indeed for coming on today. First of all, let's um, get to know a little bit about Groundwork. Exactly what, what, what is their purpose? OK, well, Groundwork uh, is a registered charity. It helps communities... Um, the might have had a, a lack of employment through the uh, mining, finishing, and and they're left with some sort of landscape that needs some work and also people needing to retrain and to get new employment. So putting that together, um, you would have sort of people working to regenerate their own communities. Mm. And I, I know Groundwork, they've been going quite a while, haven't they? Yeah, our particular trust is about 21 years old. Mm. The Groundwork as a whole was... Um, in Hesseltine's time, oh, right. so that, that far back. <laughs> uh, people might know the, the, the work we've done in Lacha, where we've done some artwork at the gateway to the, uh, the cycle path yeah. and the, yeah. the nature reserve. Yeah, OK, so that's something that you've been on r- relatively, well, not yeah, last, how long? last uh, one or two years. Right, OK, so it's basically creating change in the area then, isn't it? So, I, I mean, if something has been marred by, I don't know, as you mentioned there, mining or something like that, I mean, how, how do you sort of begin a project like that? Well, really, um, we would do work uh, consulting with communities about how they want to improve the environment and right. also maybe gain some experience and training as they go along. Okay. So that would be the first stage, really. right? And, and then, I suppose, meetings are held and things like that, and, uh, and ideas pass back and forth? Definitely, yeah, with, with groups. And then it's all, always about finding funding. Yeah. And we do have dedicated funding officers, uh, such as Rian, who can go out to certain areas and help groups to find funding. Okay. And um, what would you say your actual vision is, then? Well, it's, it's really summed up in the, the sort of catchphrase, changing people and changing places. OK. So, um, I, I know that you've got something coming up in, in Gowerton uh, Library. Well, there's, there's, there's quite a few events happening, isn't there? Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah. Uh, if I tell you a little bit about our particular scheme, which is called Positive Energy in Swansea. Yeah. Um, as I said, Groundworks is a registered charity and our project is funded by the Rural Development Programme. So the nice thing is it's free to the groups we work with. That There's no cost. Right. Um, and as, as you said, Leighton, we've got um, some great events coming up on, for the half term in the libraries. Some of you might have, some of your listeners might have gone in the last half term in October. Right. And what we do is we try and we try and make a really fun, really science science sort of uh, sessions. The the last lot did made some ice cream in their hands. We generated electricity using a bike and then saw what we could power with it. And it was amazing how much energy, how much cycling it needed. Mm to try and boil that kettle of water. <laughs> I bet the kids love that, though, didn't oh, they? Oh, they look, especially <laughs> as their, their dads and mums yeah. were doing the cycling. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. And we've got one more... Th- we're going to do that this this half term. We've yeah. got one more um, mystery thing coming up. I'm not going to talk about that yet. Right. But but wait out for that. Watch the space, then, as they say. Yeah. And I, I know as well that you're, you're heavily involved with Keep Well This Winter campaign, aren't you? Yeah, we, we take we take part in that. Um because it's sort of like a collective, different groups and organisations. Mm. We've we've been helping with. Um, I think I just gave you. A, yes, we got um, one here. It's like a thermometer, thermometer isn't it? Yeah. It's, and and it tells you that it's twenty one degrees in here, and it says okay or yawn, and uh, it, so basically you, you can. Alter, I suppose, your temperature in your home, maybe to reduce costs as well. Using this, you could, yeah. Um, for houses that got a boiler with a thermostat where you can set the temperature, yeah. You know, you could, if you found it a bit hot now, or like as you're wearing a t-shirt, you could put a jumper on, mm. turn it down one click, yeah. That could save you eight percent of your heating. Right. As, as easy as that. Mm. And maybe someone who doesn't have a thermostat might say, well, actually, it's worth fitting one. Right. OK, so if anybody wants to find out more about Groundwork, and I know that you're after volunteers and groups as well, uh, there's plenty of ways to get hold of you. Yeah, we can... Um, 
You can contact us uh, two telephone numbers. The landline is 01792 468 271. Or you can contact me on my mobile and ask that's Grant on 07765 226 981. Facebook is just Positive Energy, and you'll see us on there. Grant or Mark will be a, a picture of a, a piggy bank. I just, if I could just go back to um, the the library just to give you some dates. Yeah, certainly. There's Gore Sinan on the 15th of February and Gowerton on the 16th. It's really set up for kids and parents. They, they loved it last time and they're yeah. going to love it this time. Brilliant. So there'll be a, a morning and afternoon session. Just watch out for the boards outside the libraries where they advertise... Uh, the, the events the coming up. Yeah, brilliant. Grant, yeah. thank you very much indeed for coming in today to tell us a little bit more about groundwork. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.